Hello coders, welcome back to Tutor and so guys in this video we are going to talk about react toastify guys if you want to use a uh, toastify notification or a pop-up notification in your react application then there is no better option than react toastify you don't need to implement a pop-up notification or toastify notification from scratch you can just use this library and you will get notifications like this so guys why i'm telling to use react toastify because guys it is one of the most popular and best notification component service for the react or react based frameworks because guys you can see here there is 1 million plus weekly downloads of this package and it is very easy to use react toastify and very customizable so you can use it in your applications very quickly that's why lots of people use it so guys if you come to this that is npmjs.com slash package slash react toastify or you can search react toastify in the npmjs then you can see here the first option will be this package and if you click on these links, these are the links to the home page or the shop page which will guide us to how to use this package or react toastify. So if you come here and you click on this this link for the demo, uh, you can go to right side of the screen and you can click on this link. It will take us to the home page of the react toastify which will guide us or which is the best documentation to learn about react toastify. So here you can see there are lots of features described here and lots of uh, components or toast notification components here given so for example if i want to show the toast then it is going to show us like that and if we want to implement the react toastify on the promise or whenever we fetch data or anything processing in the background then you can show this type of notification which will show that it is still processing and whatever it will complete it will go away like this and guys i think that i will not be able to cover all of these features in the video but i can make one or two more videos to describe them but for this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly use this React Toastify in your React application. So let's not waste your time and create a new React application to showcase how can you do this. To create a new React application, you know that there is the command called npx create react app and call it notification toast. So guys, according to the new documentation website of the React yes, that is react.dev we have to or we should create a new react application with the frameworks like next.js or remix or vit but for this demonstration i'm going to use the one way to create a react application that is create react app so now press enter two thousand years later so guys for some reason it took a long to create this react application so from now on i'm not going to create the react application of the cra as described in the documentation we should use Next.js or any other frameworks to create a reactive application. So now I'm going to open this in VS Code. And first thing we do after opening our React project is to open the app.js and run the React application with npm start. And this will start a development server to source our application. So now as it is running fine, now we are going to see how we can use React Toastify in our application. So first of all, I'm going to delete these unnecessary files. And after this, we have to also comment this out or remove this line. And now we're going to remove this code from here and write a heading here. So let's see. Uh, it is working fine so to use react toastify we have to first of all install this react toastify with npm i or npm install react toastify so let's copy this formula and it will now go terminal in this project and paste it here and enter so it is going to install the react toastify so guys now it is installed and added in our project so now we can use this so so to use react toastify we have to import these three files or three things from the react toastify that is toast container a toast function and css file of the react toastify so let's import this all so guys basically this is the container which is going to show the toast message or toast elements in our application and this is the function which you're going to use to pass the message and this is for the styling of the toast containers so now to use the react toastify container we can just write post container and use this as a component 
and we have to create a function to use this like we see in the documentation and we are going to use this toast function to pass the message and to show the toast container or to show the toast notification so let's create a button here so toast and so now the button is showing up here so make this button work we have to pass the on click function here and whenever you click on this button it is going to run a function which we are going to create now function so post and in this function we are going to call this function that is toast from the toast from the react toastify and we are going to pass a string here like job done and we have to pass this function here so toast and now let's try this and guys the moment of truth the job is done and now react toastify is working in our project so now guys it is the by default or the basic toastify container but you can style this or customize this however we like like we can pass a component here instead of just the text and we can position it however we like and we can change the themes and if you go to this the documentation page then you can see here we can customize this in two ways like we can pass the customization props in the toastify container itself here or sorry here or we can pass this customization options in the toast function itself and to customize from the toast function we have to pass an object in this function with the customization options so let's see what are the customizations we can do in this in this toastify notifications so for example you can position it like on the top or in the bottom right bottom left and bottom center in the top center anywhere we like and in the types we can see that we have different types of these messages like info success warning error and in the themes we have three themes that is color dark and light so first of all let's see what are the types and how can we use this so to use these types we have to write the code like this after the function we have to put the dot the type of the message or the type of the or the type of the toast for example if i want to show the info message then we are going to write toast and dot info and the job is done and it will show a uh, info message in the toastify container so for example if i press on this button once more then you can see the i icon here that means the info notification has been shown and if we want to try the success message then we can write success and now if i press it again then as you can see here the success message has been shown like green so for example if i want to change it to warning then as you can see it is the orange now and if i want to show the errors then it is going to show a red message so guys this is how you can customize the type of the message and if you want to customize the position of this message then you can write like write it like this or this so guys if you customize this position in this toastify container then it is going to be default for all the messages for example if you want to show multiple messages in our application for a success or warning or in process then it is going to show the same notification style in all of those messages but if you want to customize the positions for different types of messages in the different location of your application then it is going then you can do this by passing the options in the toastify message itself so for example if i want to show this on the top center so to customize this message we can pass an object here and we can write position and give it a value like top center and let's try this as you guys can see it is showing in the center now so if i want to pass this bottom right then you can see it is working fine so let's remove this error from here so guys if you want to customize this more then you can use the themes option and so guys let's try the dark theme first so to customize the theme you can do this by two ways like we can pass the props in the container itself and we can pass the props in the message so for example if i want to customize this in the container itself then i'm going to write theme and give it a theme like dark but guys if you are going to customize this through the container itself then it is going to be default for all of the messages that is good that you are going to show in your application for example if i want to show two messages like 
I'm going to create two uh, like I'm going to create two buttons and I want to show dark toast. On the first button click I want to show the light theme and on the second button click I want to show the dark notification. So for this I'm going to create different function. So dark toast toast dark toast and we have to pass this function in the second button and guys if i click on this button then it is going to show the message in the dark and if i click on this button then it is going to show the message in dark too but that's not what i want i want that to be light so for that i'm going to remove this from here and i'm going to pass the theme props only in the second button click so i'm going to pass an object here and i'm going to pass the theme option here and give it one of three options so now if i try to show the first message then it is going to show in the default light theme and if i want to show the second message then it is going to show in the dark theme and that's what it means by using the customization in the container itself and in the message and guys as you can see here there are lots of options and if you click on this usage then you can see the tutorial of each of those and you can use it or customize it however you like by following them so guys i think this video is getting too long so i'm going to sign up from here so guys if you want to watch more videos on this topic then you can subscribe to this channel and thank you guys for watching this video stay healthy keep coding and keep watching tutorial